and welcome back to a new ride it's a weekend and a ride day it's going to be a decent long ride i'm actually heading to kerala not my hometown but i am going to kolkod also known as calicut i'll be staying there for 2 days and returning on monday there's no plans as such my uncle is staying there so i'll be visiting him it's just like a casual ride mysore to calicut is around 220 or 250 kilometers i guess right now i am going through talasheri kannur and then calicut the reason is i wanted to visit mapalangal drive in beach i'm not sure if you guys have heard about this place it's asia's longest drive in beach i've been there before uh, during my college days but this is the second time and first time on my bike so i thought okay i'll just go through that place since i don't have any plans why not take two different routes so mysore to talasheri is around 180 kilometers and from there to calicut is around 80 kilometers so 260 kilometers right 260 or 270 max this could be a monsoon ride as well but i'm monsoon ready i have all rain gears rain pants rain liners over the jacket and waterproof gloves which i bought recently so yeah i'm all good i'll have to take a diversion towards left from this place of the time i go right towards madikeri and kushalnagar so this route will take us to gonikopa virajpet and then kerala the route towards kerala it's like god section and narrow it will be covered with trees and all i'm using this gloves for the first time so break in is required the thumb is kind of aching Three weeks back, I read something in the newspaper. An unfortunate incident happened here. A rider was killed by an elephant. There were two people traveling on bike. The pillion, I think, he escaped with minor injuries, but the rider was killed. That's the reason they say to maintain the speed limits. When you encounter something on the road, you'll have the time to stop and take a U-turn. I know I'm not following it correctly, but I try my best. I keep looking right and left. I like seeing animals, elephants and all, but from a safe distance. I don't try to stop my vehicle or take any photos, videos.
I'm almost nearing the Kerala border. I can see the roads are wet, but the sky is clear. So I don't have to stop and wear all the rain gears now. I think it rains only during evening and night. You never know. I'm going through Brahmagiri forest. It looks dense. Roads are not that great. But it's fine. Beautiful man. Welcome Payam Grama Panchayat. Yes, I've entered Kerala officially. Code code 116 kilometers. Yes. That's my destination. Now it's time to look for a good hotel. Okay, I'm done with breakfast. This is how the bike looks. <coughs> Most of the hotels were not open at all. I had to keep searching. Also, I've changed my gloves, wearing the normal mesh gloves. The waterproof or windproof gloves doesn't have any kind of ventilation so it starts sweating when the temperature rises a left from here This is not a main road Should be a shortcut As I said, this is my second time visiting this beach First time was during my college days with my friends We came on two bikes One of my friends native is here in Kannur One Pulsar 150 and Pulsar 220 Four people, two bikes It was really fun Actually, miss those days, man. College days, school days. Look at this. Already excited.
love you bro <laughs> damn it ticket unda athreya I've been wanting to ride like this from a long time. This is insane, man. I have no words. The sand is different here. It's grayish in color. You can't really swim or do any sorts of activities which happens in other beaches. Fuck man. Loving this. Oof. Time to take a pick. This will go in. What a view, bro. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Most of the commercial ads you see where they drive the vehicles near the beach like this it's all in this place <laughs> <laughs> 